Welcome to Reading with T. Grow. I'm T. Grow, and I will be coming to you doing read alouds, sharing some of my favorite children books. First up today, we will be reading Lucy the Love Bug by none other than myself. Let's begin. Once upon a time, there were three friends who lived in a garden. Lucy the Love Bug, Angel the Hummingbird, and Betty Bumblebee. The three had been friends for a very long time. They were closer than sisters. Every year they spent every day together, from the first day of spring to the last day of fall. And this year wouldn't be any different. It was the day before spring and the members of the garden were busy at work restoring the beauty of the garden that the winter cold had stolen away. Over in the bushes that created a border for the garden, Angel helped her mother clean out the family's nest. As the two worked, mother noticed something different about Angel's home. You seem as if it's spring already, Mama said with a playful smile on her face. Excitement rushed across Angel's face as her words floated through the air. One more day, just one more day. On the other side of the garden, in the sunflower patch, is where you can always find Betty Bumblebee. Betty's family is the hardest working family in the whole garden, and the sunflower patch is her favorite place to work. At the start of every spring, it's Betty's job to transfer pollen in all the flowers in the entire garden. She buzzes through the air, sometimes all day, making sure she has touched every one. The day before spring, Betty works extra hard knowing that it's her last day of hard work before she gets to see her two best friends. While flying, she smiles at the thought and whispers in her heart, one more day, just one more day. Somewhere in the middle of the garden lives a very tiny family known as the ladybugs. Small in size, somehow they have the biggest hearts. Lucy is the oldest of the children. Mama says she's also the sweetest. She calls her love bug. And indeed she is. Lucy's job is to look after her five younger brothers while Mama goes to work at the garden school. Taking care of five boy bugs is a very big job. But Lucy never complains. The day before spring is Mama's last day of work. This is an exciting day for both Mama and Lucy. Mama gets to spend time with her boys, and Lucy gets to spend time with her two best friends. At the end of the day, as Mom tucked Lucy in bed, she leaned over and gently kissed her forehead and bid her sweet dreams. Already falling asleep, Lucy shined one last smile and softly whispered, one more day, just one more day. Now at the very moment spring arrives in the garden, everything has changed. The sun rises earlier and brighter, and already the three friends have started their day anxiously preparing to meet each other. Every year the meeting place is the same, in the very center of the garden where the red roses grow. They like to meet there because that's where the sun shines brightest. Some days, the three friends would sit in the middle of the rose bushes for hours just talking, laughing, and enjoying being with each other. But most days were a lot busier. Three weeks of spring had quickly passed as the three friends spent each day exploring the garden together, doing lots of different things. Betty Bumblebee liked playing for 10 over by the cabbage patches. There, they would pretend to be beautiful princesses. Lucy the love bug liked doing art. They would sit quietly under the weeping willows down by the pond and paint colorful pictures of faraway places. When they were done painting, they would show each other and take turns telling stories of what it would be like to visit those places. And Angel, she was true to her kind. All hummingbirds love to sing. 
They would go to the far end of the garden into the purple fields where no one could hear them and sing until their hearts were content. There was never a sad moment between the three of them. But one day, things changed. Like no other day before, Lucy overslept and was late getting to the rose bushes. Just as strange, when she arrived, Angel and Betty were sitting with their backs facing each other, and Angel was crying. Lucy didn't understand. What's wrong? Did something happen? What is it? She begged. The other two friends had gotten into a fight before Lucy arrived. She was being mean to me, Angel screamed, pointing at Betty. No, you were being mean. You started it, Betty yelled. Lucy pleaded. Wait a minute, girls. This is not right. You shouldn't be fighting each other. We are friends. Why are you being mean to each other? Well, I wanted to play pretend and be a princess. But Angel wouldn't play with me. She said we had to sing first or she wouldn't play with me anymore, Betty said. Well, Betty said if I didn't play pretend with her, she wouldn't be my friend anymore. Then the two went back and forth. You said I can't sing. You called me ugly. You called me little. You called me big. Lucy's heart dropped. She had never seen her two best friends so upset. Not knowing what to do or say, Lucy turned and walked away as tears escaped her eyes. Lucy had been walking for a while when she had an idea. I know. Whenever Mama gets sad or has a problem she can't fix, she talks to God. Lucy found a quiet little opening between two honeysuckle bushes where she took a seat and began to talk. God, I need your help. I don't know what to do, and it's scary. My two best friends are being mean to each other, and I don't know how to fix it. That makes me angry. Mama says it's okay to be angry, sometimes because it's a normal feeling, but I want to be happy again. I want them to be happy again. Can you help me? Oh, and Mama always says, Amen. Feeling a little better, Lucy went back to the red rose bushes, only to find that Betty and Angel still were not playing with each other. I came back so we could play with each other, Lucy announced as she came to the center of the rose bush. No, thank you. She's too big to be a princess. I don't want to play with her, said Betty. So what? That's why I have a beautiful voice and you can't sing, Angel replied. That's enough, Lucy commanded. We are best friends and best friends are not mean to each other. We are supposed to love one another. Just because we are good at different things don't mean we're not equally special. God made each of us special in our own way, so we will always be different. But he also made one thing about us, the same. What? The two friends asked. We all have the gift of love. And you know what? It doesn't matter what size you are, what talents you have, where you're from, or even what language you speak. What matters is that you love. And when you love someone, you don't treat them mean just because they're different. The two friends apologized and gave each other a big hug. Then all three friends hugged. Moments later, things were back to normal with lots of laughter filling the spring air. Betty, Lucy, and Angel we're all best friends again, and Lucy was happy again. The end. You know, it does not matter how many times I read this story. Every time I fall in love all over again, 
I really love the message that no matter how different we are, we all have the gift of love. And what really matters is that we love, that our actions lead in love. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you will come back. If you have any recommendations, any books you would want me to read, feel free to leave a comment with the name um, down below. Subscribe to my channel and see you next time.